Oh, well, that puddle's now a semi-permanent feature, I think. Well, the uh, hospital port has pride and dignity. Stop the new world order. Welcome to Oxford Graffiti, number seven. Yes, uh, there's been a bit of a a bit of a lull in some of the usual areas. I mean, you, you, there's some images you, you may think there's some places you may think will have new images, and they don't. They've still got the ones that are in Oxford Graffiti Six. However, um, <coughs> there are still I, I managed to visit a few new places and found some new graffiti in some quite unusual areas. So uh, that's where we're going to go on this particular trip. Okay, now I'm a bit, I'm on Cowley Road, a bit further down than the other the other. Uh, box communications box whatever you call them and you can see here uh, this is decorated too there's a someone meditating in a swirling etheric mass of color with a light on their base chakra and then, um, these are like little these are like loops of I don't know it's, it's like egg white isn't it? this is another abstract piece here with some flowers on it now in the white circles What's on the other side? Just sort of, sort of similar on, on the other side, really. Very nice. It's Operation Blue Box again. Nice. Like rainbow there. Okay, now this is uh, SE. I've seen this several times. I think it's a little more. They've got another one of them. Let's see. Fire. It looks a bit like GE, you know, the symbol for General Electric. I get this is still the same over here. I get a feeling like some changes been made here. I'm trying to think what they are. There's Vote Viking written there, whatever that means. There's a tag. I think this is new, I can't remember. I think that's new. Um, I think that might be new. Actually, I, I spent so such a long time making these videos, I forget what's actually there. But you, 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 the viewer, can compare it with the old videos, you can find out. Today is Brexit Day, January the 31st. Yeah. He was going, feel the rhythm, man. Honestly, rowing coaches talk such utter shit. Anyway, guys, uh, happy Imbolc, it's the 2nd of February. We have here a blank canvas. I wonder why. What art? What, what artist is going to fill it? We shall see. Okay, there's some people here. Some guys in orange suits doing some some kind of survey. There's a the other light you see there. Probably UFO's going to land here. That's what usually happens when these people turn up. I wonder are they, if I go up to them, will they tell me they're Vodafone engineers? <laughs> but they got they got shooters in their shoulder holsters. I don't know. Fair enough. I've been hit. I've been in this area many, many times, but I've not actually noticed this graffiti before. It says there, ghost. I think that's his ghost. I don't know. And there's this graffiti along here. It actually looks quite old. That says delay. I don't know. It says delay. It looks quite old, but I've only just seen it on this little storm drain here. Yeah. Okay. There's a, something called Modern Art Gallery. It looks like that's just the outline. Finished. Two yin yang symbols. The dog, the white dog there with the Chinese symbol. I think that was there before. Well, it's, like it's only come down here every couple of months, so I actually forget what's on this this particular gallery. So I think there may be some new things here. That dog was there, I remember. That, that face looks like there's a Star Wars Tie Fighter there. I think that's new. Merry Christmas, still there. Illuminati. I think there's, there's a Teletubby over there. An alien. Vote Viking. I've seen that Vote Viking several places. Remember, it was on the it was on the bridge by the river. There's a Teletubby and an alien by a car with wings. I like that. There's some illuminated text. I think was there before. The mermaid is still there. I don't think it's due. That it's almost like some kind of caterpillar. An abstract piece there. You can sort of tell simply by the quality of the image, the wear, the, the wear and tear on the paint, whether things are new or not. 
So for all those dogs there, I think were there before. It's quite cool, those dogs. And of course the swans on the river. Over the moony light. Vote Viking, there's another Vote Viking. There's another one here, yeah. Vote Viking. See? I don't know who Viking is, but I'm gonna vote for him. And here's something new. It is actually a scene from the film the Silence of the Lambs. That's uh, Hannibal Lecter, the main character there, played by Anthony Hopkins, wearing a face shield so he can't bite people. Classic image. That's very good, that is. That's like photograph naturalism on that. Very good indeed. This illuminated text here is new. There's a 24 there, meaning probably it's done this year. You can see the tag there. The rest of this is... Uh, oh, look. Oh, yeah. The rest of this we see before. It's interesting to finish this tour of the Little More Subway. Some interesting alien sort of robot type figures with some geometric solids. Yeah, I mean, it looks quite old, I might have to film that before. I've got to apologise actually if I'm just showing you stuff I've shown you before. I've forgotten exactly what was in the previous videos in this series. Oh, also I should point out that the tunnel on the far side of the subway is the same. So, uh, that is the latest on the Little More Subway. Very nice. It's on the side of this van. Love. Great psychedelic art there. It is lovely. I think I might have showed you this before, but there you have like a... It looks almost like the General Electric symbol. Spire. And there you have Nukes. This is interesting. This, this has just appeared. Nukes. And there's the old peace symbol. Uh, that looks like something from the 80s or earlier. It's very odd to Um so I just thought that, that actually appeared in the last couple of days. And you go along here and of course, I showed you this earlier and there is the Vote Viking again. Whoever the hell Viking is. Dunno. Wow, this blank canvas didn't take long to be filled. We have here... Look at that. We have here... A big red dragon. Possibly this is to support whales in the Six Nations. Look at that. I knew that blank canvas wouldn't last long. It's amazing, it reminds me of the one outside that school. Down Donington Bridge. And here we have nukes again with the peace symbol. Wow. Look, here we go. Let's have a closer look at it, nukes. Don't laugh closer than his head. It's like small, the dragon from Tolkien. That's, that's great, look at his eyes. It's very well done, the teeth. I like this, it's very good. Yeah, look at his wings. And the old spikes on his Wicked. We get a load of this. This the only graffiti on this ship is this word Mildo, which I assume is the name of the boat. And there are these little like, octopus tentacles grasping it. Which is kind of appropriate because this is actually a lifeboat from a ship that has been turned into a houseboat. Do you remember there's one of those at the, the barge end, do you remember? This is a new graffito that's appeared in this alleyway where there's the Illuminati eye and stuff like that. Um, it's very unusual indeed, it's a stencil. It seems to show what looks like a, a cup of some kind, a goblet, and it says Timor. And Timor means, well Timor only means a handful of things. It's an island in in uh, Indonesia. It's also, uh, it's a, there's a some kind of compute game. There's a couple of songs called Timor. Um, so I don't know exactly what that means, but it's a very interesting one. There's not many. It's as I said, it's this very accurate stencil. It's clear. It's clear some thought has gone into it, and it clearly has some meaning or other. So very odd. That's a very unusual piece of graffiti there. That's a lovely sight. I don't think the film can quite capture it. Oh, there's this massive rainbow, it's actually a double rainbow. Did you see another one above it? Massive Isn't that lovely? All right then, ladies and gentlemen, I finally had the chance to visit this subway on the Southern Bypass. I haven't been here for a while. Um, I think, I think well, you probably, you, viewers have a better memory of what's new and what's not than me, but we have here these illuminated texts, a few, a few tags, uh, things like that. Interesting kind of like rock, rock candy kind of picture here on this illuminated text here. And we've got here some more. You see it better if I pull back slightly. And we have that image here. Look at that, that wasn't there before. An eagle's head. 
There's some text I think looks like in where was it? There's some uh, I think that's a tag. I thought it would be Chinese or something, but it's a tag. That's nice, isn't it? That's good. And here we have a uh, more more text. On this side, this is nice. This is good illuminated text. And that, very good. You see that you can see look at you can see this over the shading relief on that has done very well. It looks almost solid. And here we have um, more of the same. A A S E P it looks like, and that face was there before. I think it looks familiar. A -S -E -P. This uh, I must say this um, this particular subway has a much slower turnover than the others. You do get new stuff on there, but it tends to last a bit longer. <coughs> More illuminated text, shout, I like that. <laughs> and there's this kind of, this is new I think. There's this kind of minstrel figure here, saying uh, with uh, GLC Rowdy Boys. And there's something there, I don't know what that says, maybe Polish. I like these sort of uh, Terence McKenna style mushrooms. Very nice. And as we go in here, HYCLDS.com. That's, that's, that's good. That's quite a good uh, text. Come on, then. Look, and we've got more of this text here. Come over this side so you can see it better. It brightens the place up. And I'm not the only one who appreciates it, you see. I'd do one wall and then the other. Mm. There's nice little letterboxes down there. Swindon does it best. Ooh! I think that's to wind, wind, wind up the used fans. <laughs> Anyone who's familiar with uh, local football politics will know what that's all about. But there, there is this kind of rivalry between... Uh, I think that was there before. There's this rivalry, there's a local derby, and there's a rivalry between Swindon Town and Oxford United. It goes back ages and ages. So I say, Jewel Schultz. The point is, this text is you can't actually read it. It's more like just a picture kind of thing. Oh, I've done that side, haven't I? Look at this side now. Look at that. There's that swirl of colour there. And it's, is that text or is that an, just an abstract random piece? I can't quite tell. And these, this, this here is similar, to, similar kind of, that's a similar kind of uh, template to uh, what we saw earlier. And do you see the spray can there? There's a paint spray can. Look, there's a birdie. Look at the bird. He's got what looks like a, is that a Roman helmet? Can't really tell. And there's more, again, this is the kind of text we've seen before with a shaded relief. <coughs> Okay, we're going to do this. We're going to go over to the last underpass now on this network of subways. Now that face look, actually looks better from a distance. It's very, very good. It's very well done. That's, that's, that illuminated text is nice. It looks like it's kind of flowing downhill almost. You see there's a slope. There's like a slope there. And the, uh, the artist has captured a a very clever effect there. It's to make the, it almost looks like it's flowing downhill. It's very clever, very clever. Now that was there before, that eye-like creature, I remember that. Don't forget that in a hurry. And now this, this face as well was there, I remember. That face with the pith helmet. However, it's been covered with these tags. As I said, you know, the stuff's older. This material, there's a very much slower turnover on this subway, but obviously people come along, they add bits over the top of it like they always do. It's crows, crows, what that means. It's like zombie like green. And someone has decorated that's cone now, which is nice. And here we have. That's this is all you see it's flaking there, that's this is old stuff. You can see by the flakes. Look at that cat there with the green dripping eyes. Zombie cat. And over here we have. Some more stylish text. That's a. Is that the? I think that is the. Oops. That I think is a. 
Tasmanian Devil and there's Sonic the Hedgehog. I don't, I don't know. I'm not sure. Anyway, guys, that's this uh, particular subway. Lots of interesting stuff here. Glad to have come back here and give another tour. Hope you enjoyed that too. Now, ASEP, ASEP, that word was written on the on the subway I showed you yesterday. Now this, see this SE, whatever it is, symbol, plus fire, that's quite common. It's here on this on the bridge here by the river. But I'll show you some other examples of this. And this is amazing here. We have uh, this, I thought this is, is it abstract? Is it meant to be some kind of landscape? Very, very impressionist landscape. Katie, the name Katie there. And there's this figure, it looks like a fish or something. I don't know. It looks a pair of lips down there. Very interesting. And they've changed this image as well. I think it looks like I'd say the same artist for this one, well, at least on the right hand side of this structure in the middle but then there's other symbols around it shapes and human figures heads there's some stencils here in the middle and there's the sun over a landscape more heads and faces very good that's very good it says here asper what's that say asperdman as birdman oh the birdman of course, there's Birdman. You remember the cards we got? 2023. Remember, remember the Birdman? Hey, cool. <laughs> I met him, do you remember? Good work, mate. Good work if you're watching. I'm new here now. Um, there's, there's this like a crossword graffiti, a pussy riot, which is, which is I gather, a Russian feminist rock band, although I gather they were just, what, yeah, they were just invented. Have nothing. And this word here, putain. I think that's putain. Now that means, that's French, I know this much, it's French and it means a prostitute, it's kind of a derogatory word, it's like saying tart or whore, putain, pussy right. I don't know exactly what that means, this, this little bit of graffiti. Oh, no. Okay, let's have a look at this graffiti here. I think there's a bit of a competition among graffiti artists to, um, to put their graffiti in the most inaccessible place possible. I've seen some of some I've seen some of some really, really precarious positions. Obviously it's like a daredevil thing. But here we have it on top of that little kind of like parapet there. It's got a small kind of balcony. And then they must have climbed up there. And you see here I or is it E or there's that structure there which I can't see if that's actually got some pictures in it. Or it's just the pattern of the bricks on behind the paint over here there's another there's something else over here you can see it better it's on the facing wall you can't actually see it very clearly from you can actually see it, it's obstructed a bit by the trees you can't actually see it you can actually see it unobstructed but it's further away it's that thing there in the middle of the screen now yeah. this is actually this building here is a, a listed building it's historical because it it is one of the oldest cinemas in the country. It was opened, I think, 1912. Although it's not a cinema now, it's actually a church. And um, before, then, before then, it was a bingo hall. For many, many years, it was a bingo hall. And here we see this SE motif again with Spire. We've seen that twice before, haven't we? Oh, there's one other example I could, I could probably find if I remember where it is. Well, there's, a, there's the Spire symbol. And he's just, he's just written a small ear spire. I don't know who spire is, but he's somebody. Obviously an artist. Um, as you can see here, um, the uh, Illuminati have been here. Yeah. The Lumis are present. And here we have a, a tribute graffiti here. R.O.P. Wes, I love you as a heart. So uh, it's for someone called Wes who obviously died. Someone decided to immortalise them here. Look, it's an unmarked white coach. It's a Janet coach, everyone. There's some strange people on the meadow, and I don't know what they're doing here. Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. The orange jacketed people must be... I don't know what they're up to. I think they're blocking the drain. Because this, this there's a drain that runs under here that's blocked. Yeah. Okay, here's their van. Those people. 
bush people, there we are, highway maintenance, garrick.co.uk, you can look that up. Wheel washing, dust control, tower lights, on demand. All right, so that's, and I'll show you where they are. They're now in there, see? You can see them, see? That's what they're doing now. Got here, this is quite, I haven't seen this before. It's quite new. That's nice, like a sort of a, what's the word, Dardaist. Sort of childlike, but that's, I like that. And it carries on along here. There's humans on that doing a handstand, a person on a bike. Damn it, you can see a dog on a, a dog on a scooter. Jeremy Beadle style. Lisa made it. Well done, Lisa. Flowers. So, that's just, this person's got roller skates, that person's on a skateboard. Look. This is the moon. Ah, very nice. Very well, very good. No more royal parasites as a falling crown. It's, it's, that's a stencil. That's a stencil. It's like political agitation. It's more like the graffiti of, say, Northern Ireland or South America. And there's an Illuminati. Is that an Illuminati pyramid? I think it has a little flying saucer in there. I can't really tell. Look at, that. Look at that, eh? Florence Park talks. The Joneses of Jesus, Oxford's Welsh connection. Welsh dragon, Dylan Thomas, Florence Park, and Tolkien. I thought Tolkien's connected to Wales, but uh, I suppose I'm included in that, aren't I? Oh my god, they've got a crash tic tac over there. Actually, it's a tent, I think, of some kind. I don't know what's in there, actually. It's, it's, it's an allotment. Okay, we've got this wall here at University Parks. I'm just in the middle of shooting my, actually, I'm just in the middle of shooting my uh, Civil War video. Lots of tags here, and then you have Caitlin, heart symbol, and then a cat. Looks like a cat. Don't know what that means, why I'd ask that. All right, something's happening here. I don't think it's removed, I thought it's removed, that's maybe attached to that house. And maybe nothing to do with what's going on in, in the meadow. But, <coughs> the gate is open to the field. And there is... There's some vehicles in there, and there's some people in luminous suits. So they can be seen from a long distance on hard hats. Hail. I think they're fixing the drain. They're still here. <coughs> what are they doing? There's, this, there's these JCBs moving around the place. These diggers. Something they dig in there, something. I don't know what's going on. Here's what's happening over here. Look. There is a, something digging over there. Digging a hole in the ground, and there's some more people over there doing other things. I don't know exactly what it is, but there's the machine, the digging machine there. There's a steamroller, different scoops. There's the other digger there. Okay, so this is the gate they've got open and they put these bollards here, these cones. Oh, sorry. They've put these cones there. Danger overhead cables. Must be those there. You can see they've got these cables up. 
See the black cables there, see the black lines. Goes all the way there, that lorry. I think the lorry might actually be something to do with them. You can see what's going on in there. They're still at it. As you see, they put like they created a kind of path in there. I think that was that pile up, so it wasn't spoiled from the dig. It was actually some gravel or something to create a path. They were digging a hole here, you see. There's the electric wires. What are they up to? What are they up to today? Looks like they've taken the fence down. I don't know what that thing is. Something metal, something very big and metal. There's another one there, so that's what these things are up here. Anyway, who knows know how long it's gonna take about a month I think. As you can see that that one that one digger or carrier has moved the big metal thing from the centre of the field to the edge. Now, if I didn't, well, it's, I don't know what they're doing here, but um, we'll get a bit closer to see if we can find out. Let's see if it's move away, keep saying. That's just moving, it's just warning people. It's like one of those, attention, this vehicle is reversing things. Let's go back now. What's the thing they, this is the thing they just dug up. Let's we'll get a bit closer, see if we can see more of it. There it goes. Those look like fences. There's, there's some metal things that look like fences. And there is a... Who knows what they're doing over there. But there is... Those are things they had over there. I don't, I don't know what they are. Anyway, you can see they put like a... This clip, the crab on the there to create some kind of path. Is the track, so this is the track of the digger. Come look in here. That's where the... There's the steamroll. Oh, sorry. All right, guys, so, uh, yeah, I mean, you can't actually... See, I didn't want to show you too much there, but um, you can see what, what's going on there. They have a... There's like a control... There's a vehicle there seems to be like with some computers and things in it's obviously like for management and uh, <clears throat> i looked at it i had a brief look in there. i didn't want to film in there but as you could probably guess they've got a girl boss there were two women in there one black one white really small these small women young women and i think that's like normal now um any sort of like very experienced middle-aged um expert who, with lots of experience in any institution at some point you're going to find yourself being bossed around by someone a third of your age with zero experience but ten times the qualifications that you have very often they're female not always it reminds you of um there's that james bond film where um the new head of the new head of intelligence is like this little university kid <laughs> i can't remember i think it's spectre very funny but anyway you can see here that the you can see behind me the digger is moving again oops where are we? Where are we? Oh, can't even see, can't even focus properly. There it is, you see it? There we are. So, uh, well, I don't know what's going on there, but I guess I'd say it was a crashed UFO. I mean, what else could it be? They're going to put the digger on the back of this lorry. So now we'll see whether or not there's a crashed UFO.
things can't be on the road, it's just got a lorry to just drive them around. There we are. No trash you were Oh guys, this is the bit they were digging yesterday. There's some more machines over there we'll look at later. Um, this is literally like a big mud pit. I mean, if there was a crash UFO here, it's kind of, it's obviously gone. I'm kidding, of course. There's the, there's the digger tracks, you can see. See it all muddy over it. This is where they were like, they were digging and now they've just abandoned it. The, the drain, the drain that they're fixing goes underneath this hump. There's this hump here, and the drain is under there. Apparently, this is the bit where there's a bit of stone there that's been left behind. Um, apparently, the reason they're here is they're fixing the drain. I don't know exactly what's wrong with it, but there's a lot of a lot of people complain there's a bad smell around here. I can't smell it myself. But you see, here's the manhole. There you see, that's the access to the drain. There's two of them. Yeah. That's, that's a lovely piece of beauty. Welcome home with the sun and the heart. Isn't that delightful? And so that was some Oxford graffiti number seven. Hope you enjoyed it. More videos coming soon. Hospital Port is pride and dignity. Stop the new world order. <laughs>